This week we're going to be learning about digraphs. A digraph is when we have two letters together that make a sound, a different sound to what they make on their own. So k and h together can make ch. And over here we've got the sound sh, which is the digraph made up of s and h. Let's have a look and see how they work in words. We're going to be listening for them in words and we're going to be finding out where they sit in words. They can be at the beginning or the end. So here's a picture of something being chopped, a wood, a piece of wood or a log being chopped. And here's the word chop. And as you can see, there's the digraph, ch. If we were to sound it out, it would sound like this, ch, o, p, chop, chop. And that's at the beginning of the word. It also sits at the end of a word, like this, when there's too much food on your plate, the word much. It's m, a, ch, much, much. You can see that it sits at the end, the ch sound. For sh, if we go to the beginning and end, we've got a picture of a shop. There it is at the start, sh, a, shop, shop, and at the end of the word wish, like when a fairy might grant you a magical wish. W, e, sh, wish, wish. Can you see how I have the line there? It helps us remember that those two letters are read together as one sound. This letter and this letter have a dot to show that they are one sound each. W, e, sh, wish. Here's what I want you to do this week. I need you to make some little cards today. And the cards have to have the letters A, E, I, O, U in red, C, M, N, P, T in blue, and the digraphs CH and SH underlined in blue. The card here that I'm using is four centimeters by four centimeters. You can use bigger. And I found that file folder card is nice and thick. It lasts a bit longer. Uh, you might need a parent to help you, but you can freeze this screen to see the letters and make them look neat as well. We'll be using them later in the week.